All right, how's it going, everybody? We're here today at Orange County Hot Rods. We're here with Aaron Hamusek. Uh, he's the owner operator of Orange County Hot Rods. We uh, we've gotten a lot of help from him in the past. He built the uh, '61 uh, Impala that you all saw oh, yeah. on the video, uh, owned by Brian Joyce. A uh, really, really cool car, and and uh, Aaron and his son Kevin do some really nice work. So and he's been winning first place awards at every car show he goes to. So hey, that's cool. You gotta love that. <laughs> Well, we're just here to take a quick look around the shop today. So, uh, Aaron, without any further ado, let's uh, let's see what we got working on. All right, let's let's see what's happening here. All right, so we've got a lot of stuff going on at the shop here. Uh, we've got like I think nine or ten cars in the shop right now, and it's like a constant now. Uh, it's just super busy. A lot of people want their cars done. You know, it's great. It's awesome. It's my hobby. So, we're gonna just take a quick walk through right now and just show you some stuff that's going on and you know maybe we'll do updates every two three months something like that would be cool perfect yeah, a lot of, lot of stuff going on so right here we got a 59 impala uh this is going to be a tmi sema car uh display car yeah we got to have it done in what three months so that'll be interesting so we got a lot of stuff going on on this car fully airbag ride tech suspension um, old air products, uh, it just TMI interior. It's going to be their new line is the Impala line uh, this year for the SEMA show. So this is going to be their display car. It's going to be awesome. So let's take a walk through here um, and just take a look at you know what's going on. Uh, we've got a lot of fabrication going on here for the airbags and all that stuff. Uh, we got POL's truck performance online. Um, they'll be they'll be happy to hear that they're helping us out with the front suspension yeah. on the J, the project uh, JPS Camaro. Yeah, so we just uh, Edelbrock just gave us a fuel injection for the LS uh, Pro Flow Four. So it's a new system uh, we're putting on the truck with the LS motor and uh, seeing how this goes. And we're just about there. Uh, it's really cool looking design. I mean, it's almost like a, a drag car look injection, but it's pretty much bolt on. Uh, you get all the wiring and everything that goes with it too. So um, we had to make a new intake system. So we're just finishing up the details on this right now. Handheld tune, self tuning. So it, it's pretty cool. So right up above me, we got a 55 Nomad. Uh, this thing is it's got race line wheels on it um, it's like a dark uh, dark gray uh, paint job with a blue pearl in it and you can't see the blue pearl until it's out in the sunlight so this one's almost finished up uh, watch your step we got a 56 Chevy truck full ride tech uh, ride uh, shockwave airbag suspension uh, oh let's turn around and show you the LS motor it's like Christmas yeah. morning uncovering the uncovering the present. Fitec, Fitec setup on a 6.0 LS motor, LS2 I believe. Uh, custom headers, valve covers, vintage air, uh, front runner system on it that bolted up really nice. Uh, so it's going to be a black stealth truck. Um, everything's getting black powder coated here, so. Mm. And over here, uh, we've got a 49 Merc. Uh, we're doing a full frame modification, 9 inch Ford, Ride Tech coilovers. Um, just making everything fit right now. Uh, Detroit steel wheels, 20 inch, uh, 10 inch wide. That's why we had to cut out the wheel tubs. We're going to extend the wheel tubs an uh, inch or two just to get as much max tire as we can under here. So uh, this is going to be a cool project, but we're leaving all this patina. You know, we're not messing with the body. So uh, we're doing the chassis, the running gear, everything right now. We got a Blueprint 347 uh, small block Ford crate engine, and of course I had to put a 700R Chevy transmission behind this Ford motor. It's going to make an awesome uh, driver conversion. Advanced adapters makes all the plates to adapt it to a Ford motor. 
Uh, went with a Chevy transmission just because parts are readily available. A lot easier transmission to work on. So uh, it's going to be super easy. Tubular A-arms, front disc brakes, all that on the stock chassis. So we're just mocking everything up uh, as soon as I get it all mocked up. Tear the frame down, that's going to powder coating. And then we're going to put it all together with a patina body and it's going to be a cool runner. So let's go to the shop next door. This is almost Tri-5 Nation over here. So we've got a 57 210 uh, two-door station wagon. Uh, we're just putting it back together for the guy. Uh, he got it out of the paint shop a few years ago. So we're just putting it back together. And 396, big block. Um, had all brand new moldings put on from Dan Chuck Manufacturing. Uh, these are their brand new USA stamped right here in California and they're perfect. They're best quality. And new glass, we're going with a smoke tint glass. Um, it's tinted but it's very light tint so it's really nice. Uh, roll down windows on this one. This has the roll down window option. And so we're just finishing putting it back together. So. Uh, we got a 57 210 two door hardtop. I think all we saved was the trunk, the tail pan, and the roof, and the firewall. The rest is all brand new sheet metal. Uh, new trunk, new inner panels, outer quarter panels, tail pans. This thing was a rust bucket, so. And we didn't go with a new body only because this is dad's car. So sentimental value. So it's been a couple more grand, you know, in labor getting all the new sheet metal put on. So it's cool. So this is a 57 Tudor hardtop, did a full frame off restoration. Uh, this guy's had it 15 years and hasn't really got a chance to drive it yet because kept having people work on it and the work just really wasn't done correctly. So he's excited to uh, get this uh, done. Yeah, this is, we've updated everything too. New crate engine, disc brakes, Dakota dash, American Auto wiring harness. So, uh, vintage air. So he's, he wants to drive this. It's gonna be a really nice driver. So, got the blueprint, 300 horse, 350 crate engine, 700 R overdrive trans. Uh, Matson's radiator setup. This thing's never going to overheat. This was his main concern is he swears every car he has runs hot. This was his number one thing is I don't want this thing to run hot or overheat. So we did the Matson's radiator setup. I always run Matson's in the tri It's a really good setup. So vintage air, all this stuff. It's clean, but there's no chrome. We don't need to do chrome because he's going to do a daily driver on this basically is what it boils down to. So. We're almost done, we're almost ready to start up. So now we've got Performance Online's 66 Nova that was in a nice big accident. So we're finishing up, uh, I'm gonna put an LS motor with a five speed trans. Uh, we've got the Heights front end uh, subframe going in. Um, so we're just about got all the dents fixed. Um, so that's all coming together now and this car and the 63 Biscayne next to us should be at cruising for a cure this September. So we'll see. Um, but this is a really cool color combination. It's like a candy orange with a, it's almost like a gray metallic Chevy truck color. I'm not sure what they call that color, but paint really came out good. So, and who do you uh, who do you use for your paint? Where do you send the cars for we paint? Use Johnny's Auto Color and Body Works in Riverside. He's Riverside Corona. He's right on the border. So he's been doing all of my cars, and uh, usually turnaround times two, maybe three months if it's really bad. But he gets them out pretty good. He's got good quality guys working with him. So this one, uh, '63 Biscayne Eddie Motorsports front pulley system, wheel wood brakes, uh, POLs, suspension, and disc brake setup on this car too. Uh, we've got a built 383, I believe, uh, aluminum heads. So this would be a nice driver. 
We got Phytex fuel injection carburetor setup looking thing. Uh, that'll be cool. That's all electronic fuel injection. Um, so this will be a nice runner too. And uh, got to get this together. Probably the longest part is all this trim. Has a ton of trim all over and getting that all polished and everything right now. And uh, that's gonna be time consuming, is putting all the trim back on. And we don't wanna chip any paint on this because touch up the paint in the butt. So basically, uh, that's about it for the cars nowadays. Uh, we'll stop by before Cruising for a cure probably would be a good good one. And um, we'll see what we got in the shop then. And you'll see a lot of projects finishing up too. Very cool. Well, Aaron, thank you very much. I appreciate oh, yeah. you taking the time. You betcha, Chris. I appreciate the advice on the on the project JPS yeah. Camaro. I'm sure we'll be yeah. making some more phone calls to you with questions. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. And uh, look for upcoming videos on some updates on what Aaron's got going on. Thanks. See you next All time. Right. See ya.